developing right now. All systems are a go ahead of a critical test for the Starliner spacecraft. The capsule on board a ULA rocket is sitting on the launch pad right now. Launch time is set for 6.54 tonight. News 6's James Barvero is live at the Cape Forest this evening. So James, this is the second test flight for the spacecraft. And the third time overall, Matt, we're seeing Starliner readied in the launch position at the launch pad. Tonight, aerospace giant Boeing hoping this is finally its chance to get its space program back on track. Tonight, the stakes are high for the largest aerospace company in the world. And we do have an off-nominal insertion reported. More than two years of setbacks are costing Boeing about $600 million, as Starliner still has not reached the International Space Station. Ignition. Lift off. While the capsule's counterpart, the SpaceX Dragon, has now flown five astronaut missions to the ISS under NASA's commercial crew program. NASA awarded both companies billions, with Boeing getting more than a billion dollars more than SpaceX, for Starliner and Dragon to break the space program's dependency on Russia for astronaut launches. If Boeing's third attempt at its uncrewed orbital flight test is successful, Boeing will be on a clear path to starting crewed missions. Astronaut Mike Fink is selected for the first crew. He spoke to CBS News about tonight's launch. We're looking for the technical side to, to work uh, as well as it can. So if everything looks good, we have a nice smooth uh, entry and landing, uh, then that just builds up confidence and reduces risk for the, the next crew. That video is from Starliner flying in December 2019 when it failed to reach the space station and came home early. You may remember the problem was its mission elapsed timer Essentially, Starliner didn't know what phase of the mission it was in, and it flew off course. The latest update right now from Boeing is that the teams have set that mission elapsed timer ahead of this launch. We will see how things progress as we approach 6.54. Live near NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. All right, James, thank you.